This is one of multiple videos showing you how to troubleshoot EIGRP neighbor relationships. In this example, we've been told that router one cannot ping the loopback of router four. And that's true. Show IP EIGRP neighbors. Router one has a neighbor relationship to router two, but when we look at the routing table, there's no route to router four in the routing table. However, we do have a number of other EIGRP routes in the routing table, including this route. So can router one ping the gigabit zero zero interface of router four? It looks like it can't. Can it ping the gigabit interface of router three? Yes, it can. So in other words, we are getting to router three when we try to send traffic to router four, but we're not getting to router four. So it looks like there's a problem over here. So on router three, we see some output on the screen saying retry limit exceeded, and then here we're missing some of the output. So let's have a look at the log. So show log. In the log, we see messages such as new adjacency to neighbor 10132, and then a retry limit exceeded to that neighbor. Then there's a adjacency, and then it's torn down. So it looks like the relationship comes up, and then it's torn down again, because the retry limit is exceeded. So can router three ping router four? Yes, it can. Show IP EIGRP neighbors. Notice the smooth round trip timer for the relationship to router four is one millisecond, but the retransmission timeout is 5,000, which is very high when compared to the other router. Notice very high. So it looks like something's wrong here. So show IP EIGRP neighbor again. Retransmission timeout is very, very large. Let's have a look at router four. Show IP EIGRP neighbor. No neighbor relationships are shown here. Let's do a debug, debug, IP EIGRP, and I'll do neighbor. But on this side, we're not getting any output, so I'll do a debug, IP EIGRP, enter. Notice on router three, we're getting information about the neighbor, but we're told it went down, and then we have a new peer. So EIGRP messages are being received by router three from router four, but it looks like no messages are being received by router four. Let's confirm our EIGRP configuration again. So show IP EIGRP interfaces. Shows us that gigabit zero zero has EIGRP enabled on it. Show IP EIGRP interfaces. EIGRP is enabled on gigabit zero zero on router four. Show IP protocols. Let's compare them side by side. The configuration looks good here. We're not seeing any problems here, except that the retransmission retry limit was exceeded. The hold time expired. So the neighbor goes down and then comes up again. On this side, we see nothing. So it's as if EIGRP messages are not getting to router four. If you have a problem like this, where one side can see the other side, but not the reverse, check that EIGRP is being permitted. So let's check if there are access lists. Okay, so here's a problem. We can see an access list denying EIGRP, and we can see that the hits on that access list are increasing. Show run interface gigabit zero zero. That access list 100 is applied inbound on gigabit zero zero. So this access list is blocking EIGRP messages to router four. 
and hence we don't see any debug messages on the console. But we do see them on this side because we're not blocking EIGRP2 router 3, we are blocking EIGRP from router 3 to router 4. All EIGRP messages coming in on gigabit 00 are going to be dropped because of that statement. So interface gigabit 00, no IP access group 100 in. Show IP EIGRP neighbor. Before I hit enter, you may have seen that a neighbor relationship was established over there. And notice we're getting a lot of output because of the debugs that we're running and the neighbor relationship has been established. So on all on this side, on all show IP EIGRP neighbor. There's a neighbor relationship from router three to router four. Same is true here, router four has a neighbor relationship to router three. Show IP route. We have a route to the loopback of router four, now available on router one, and router one can ping the loopback of router four. So when you troubleshoot EIGRP neighbor relationships, if you see that one side is receiving advertisements, so for example, hellos, but not the other side, check if there's an access list blocking the traffic like in this example. I hope you found this video to be beneficial. If you enjoyed it, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.